What should you do if you see a dashboard warning light or symbol in your Volkswagen? Whether you're driving a Volkswagen Golf, Jetta, Passat, Polo, or another model, the warning lights on your dashboard may indicate your Volkswagen car has a serious or a developing problem. When you start your car, most dashboard warning lights will illuminate briefly until going out when you disengage the handbrake and start driving. However, if one or more dashboard warning lights or symbols remain, then you may have a problem with your car. Most Volkswagen dashboard warning lights use a traffic light system to give you an indication of the seriousness of the warning light. Green, the system is working correctly or is currently in use. Yellow, something is not working correctly. Take extra care and check it out as soon as possible. Red, there is a serious and potentially dangerous problem. Stop driving as soon as it is safe to do so. Brake system warning light. If this red light remains on after you fully release the parking brake, or comes on when you're driving, it could indicate that either the brake fluid level is low or that the automatic braking system isn't working properly. In which case, the ABS warning light will also be illuminated. This is one of the more serious Volkswagen warning lights and drivers should resolve this as soon as possible. Check engine warning light. On Volkswagen cars, this is called the emissions control or engine management lamp but you'll probably know it as the check engine light. When the check engine warning light is illuminated, it's often accompanied by telltale signs that the engine is not working properly, such as a lack of power or stuttering as you press the accelerator. This light could indicate a number of faults, from minor issues like a broken electrical sensor to a much larger mechanical issue. Electronic power control, EPC warning light. EPC is a computerized ignition and engine management system. This warning light, called the petrol engine management lamp on Volkswagen cars, usually signifies that there's something wrong with the throttle system and is often accompanied by other Volkswagen warning lights such as the check engine light or the stability control warning light. You'll probably notice that the engine is not functioning properly and the car may feel sluggish to drive as the computer may automatically put the car into a safe mode. If the EPC light comes on, you should still be safe to drive, but you should proceed to get it checked out straight away to prevent further damage, as the severity of the problem could vary greatly. Power Steering System Warning Light, also known as the EPAS, Electric Power Assisted Steering Warning Light, this indicates a problem with the power steering. If the power steering system fails, you will notice that the car is harder to maneuver and you should take extra care. It could be dangerous to drive at high motorway speeds without power steering assistance. For electric powered systems, this problem could be as simple to fix as rebooting a computer. Steering lock warning light. The steering lock is an anti-theft device that prevents anyone who doesn't have the keys from driving the car by effectively locking the steering wheel in position if someone tries to move the wheel when the ignition is off. A yellow warning light signifies that there's a fault with the system that you should get checked out as soon as possible. If the light goes red while you are driving, you need to stop immediately and carefully and call for roadside assistance as the steering wheel could potentially lock into position and cause a potentially life-threatening situation. Diesel Particulate Filter Warning Light, DPF. This light will come on if there is a problem, the with diesel particulate filter, which removes harmful soot from the exhaust gases to reduce emissions. It could indicate that the filter has become blocked with soot as well as releasing a plume of toxic black smoke every time you press the accelerator, driving with a blocked filter could cause more serious damage to your car. Engine cooling system warning light. This light will come on when coolant levels are running low and the engine is overheating. This could be due to a leak in the system or it could be a sign of a larger problem, like a head gasket failure. If this light is red, you should stop straight away, as without enough coolant, your engine could get so hot that it effectively welds itself together causing irreparable damage. Stop and wait until the engine has cooled off before checking the gauge on the side of the coolant tank under the bonnet, topping up as required. Engine oil pressure warning light. The yellow oil warning light comes on when either the oil temperature gets too high or the oil level or pressure is too low. If the oil is not lubricating the engine effectively, it could lead to expensive or even irreparable engine damage. So it's important to act quickly. When this light comes on, you should stop as soon as possible and turn off the engine. Have a look for any obvious oil leaks under the car and then check the oil levels, topping up if necessary. If the oil levels are fine, then the oil pump may be faulty. 
Tire Pressure Monitoring Warning Light Many Volkswagen cars are now fitted with tire pressure monitoring systems that will let you know when the pressure falls. This could happen over time or it could be because of a puncture. Most petrol stations and garages will have an air compressor you can use to check your tire pressure. Top up the air in the tires according to the vehicle manufacturer specification in your owner's manual. Air Suspension Warning Light If this warning light comes on, you'll probably notice that your Volkswagen car feels harder to handle, less stable, and it may be lower to the ground than normal. It could signal a leak in one of the inflatable bags that sit above the wheels and cushions your ride, or it could indicate a problem with the air compressor. The severity of the problem will impact on your ability to drive safely. If the handling is poor, you should stop as soon as it is safe to do so and call for roadside assistance. Even if the handling is not adversely affected, without suspension, the impact of any bumps or knocks will be transferred to the body of the car and may cause considerable damage. Vehicle Charging System Warning Light If this light comes on in your Volkswagen when you're driving it, indicates that the battery is not charging. This could be due to a problem with your car's electrical system, and it could have several causes, such as a faulty alternator, faulty battery, bad electrical connection, or damaged cabling. Ignition Switch Warning Light This light warns you about a malfunction in the ignition system that allows you to turn the engine on and off. Usually, it indicates a mechanical fault, but it could even be dirt stuck in the ignition switch that is stopping the key from turning. If this light goes yellow, you should go to get the ignition switch examined as soon as possible to find out the cause. If it goes red, then drive immediately to a garage, as once you turn off the ignition, you may not be able to turn the car back on again. Anti-Lock Braking System Warning Light ABS is an important safety feature that really comes into play when you need to make an abrupt stop, or when driving in difficult driving conditions like ice and flooding. If the ABS light comes on by itself, you should still have normal unassisted braking so it's safe to continue your journey. But keep your distance, take extra care, and get it checked as soon as possible. Electronic Stabilization Program Warning Light, ESP. This warning light indicates a problem with traction control. If it's flashing, it means the ESP system is intervening. For example, if you're driving on a slippery road. If the light stays on, it means the ESP system is deactivated. Since this system only kicks in when you're losing traction on loose ground or ice, you should be okay to drive with due care if you're on normal road surfaces. Recharge AdBlue Warning Light AdBlue is a type of diesel exhaust fluid. If this light turns yellow in your diesel Volkswagen, it means the diesel exhaust fluid level is low, which will eventually prevent your engine from starting. Automatic Gearbox Warning Light This warning light may indicate a fault with your Volkswagen's transmission, often that the transmission fluid temperature is higher than normal, or it could serve as a reminder that your transmission fluid levels are getting low and need to be topped up. Continuing to drive could cause more extensive damage, and automatic transmissions can be expensive to replace. Brake Lights Warning Light This light will come on if one or more of your brake lights has burned out. You'll need to get this replaced as soon as you can, not least because they're an important safety feature but also because if you continue driving with a brake light out, you may get pulled over the police. Glow Plug Engine Management Warning Light This light will normally turn on when your engine is warming up. However, if it's flashing, this indicates that it's not working properly, and the glow plugs may need replacing. Adaptive Cruise Control Warning Light When engaged, cruise control automatically keeps your car moving at a speed chosen by you. The adaptive cruise control function will also allow you to choose a safe distance from the cars ahead. This system will automatically apply the brakes and warn you if the gap gets tight. If the adaptive cruise control light goes yellow, it means the system is not working properly. Try stopping and restarting the engine to see if it clear the light. You could also check for ice or dirt that may be blocking the sensors. 